So you know when you drink a lot of coffee? Like, I, I'm not somebody who drinks coffee at all. And I didn't sleep last night, and I just had a cup of coffee, and oh my god. I, I'm blinking faster. I'm so hyped up on coffee. But anyway, you guys don't care about my coffee intake, do you? What you care about is this video. So I was in the shower, right? Washing my hair, just got out of a shower, just got out of the shower, right? My mom was like, yo, Elizabeth. And I'm like, yeah, mommy. And she was like, freaking beauty gurus at it again. And I'm like, what do you mean? And she was like, they're coming up with wiggly eyebrows. And I'm like, when she said wiggly eyebrows to me, I thought of like, the wiggly eyeballs that people put like on stuff to make it funny. So I was like, okay, whatever. And she was like, no, no, you don't understand. And I'm like, I don't understand what? And she was like, they're actually making their eyebrows wiggly. And I was like, them beauty gurus are back at it again, are they? So I was like, hmm, that's interesting. Like really, I, it was like, okay. I was like, chill with it. Come on, camera, what are you doing? Like my hair's still dripping down my back. Like my hair's wet is really, really wet. And I just had to jump on and be like, what? Let me try it, because it sounds so crazy, am I right? Like, whew. Today, we're going to try the wiggly brow trend. Um, yeah, I have no idea how to do this, but that's okay, because not everything comes with rules, so I'm just gonna spoolie these fine brows of mine down. Not put on any foundation, because I'm a human being, and I don't need to be perfect for the camera. Okay, so these wiggly brows, let's get at it. I'm like, <sniffs> hype. Okay, so I'm just gonna be using two NYX products today. I'm gonna be using the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade, and I'm gonna be using the NYX Eyebrow Pencil. Um, this is in shade chocolate, and this is in shade brown. Easy enough, I think. What I'm going to do to start off would probably be a good idea would be to find my brow, leg, not leg, brow thingy, brush, that's the word. This is the brow gal brow, like I got this um, with one of my BoxyCharm boxes with full of stuff and subscription and anyway, brow time. Okay, so I think with the picture she showed me, it was like everything was done underneath, like there wasn't any like wiggles down near the eye, it was all like going upwards. So here's my attempt at it. So I'm just gonna fill in my brow normally. Right, pretty normal. There probably should be some, be some, I'm speaking a foreign language. What kind of coffee did I freaking have? Holy crap. I seriously, like, just with all the personalities I have, like, I can be, like, sassy, or I can be, like, this, like, cough, caffeinated, I can be, like, sad, like, I have different brows for my different personalities, and today, I'm feeling this kind of brow with this coffee personality I have going. My hands are so shaky, like, literally, I could not be a hand surgeon because my hands are so shaky because I'm so caffeinated. That is why I thought it'd be great to do this now because wiggles aren't even. So this would probably make it a lot easier to do the wiggles. Wiggles, do the wiggle dance, wiggles. And for those of you who don't know, I have my own PETA certified cruelty free and vegan cosmetic shop and these are the one of the brushes that I sell in my shop I have a link to my Etsy shop down below you can find me on Etsy at little pearl cosmetics I make whole different types of brushes and everything Okay, so we're getting close guys. We are getting close to the uh, to the grand finale of trying our brow making wiggly like caterpillar like, you know how some people call other people like caterpillar brow like if you have a unibrow they're like you have caterpillar brow that's why like this what this trend is doing kind of like making wiggly big bold instagram brows okay i'm getting my pomade out and here's what i think we're gonna do we're gonna dip our brush in the pomade like said well you can't see what i'm doing but i am dipping the brow in the brush and i'm just gonna make like v m's v's some letter What? It looks like, it looks like, <laughs> it looks like, oh my god, it looks like my eyebrow has a roof. I'm drawing a whole little home for my brow. Okay, starting again. Whoa. 
wiggly brows. Trying at it, seeing if we can do it. I feel like once we clean this up, it'll be a lot better. I'm just filling in like the empty space between my brow and the little hats that I'm giving my brow. This looks so messy. Why am I thinking Cookie Monster right now? Like, I'm thinking, like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, Cookie Monster. Wow, that's, like, Cookie Monster. Like, what? Elizabeth, what are you thinking? It's the coffee, probably. I swear, I, like, never drink it. Okay. We gotta get our hands on some chapstick. Oh, my lips are chap. I hate chap lips. Okay, but no, that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for um, concealer. How about some Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation? I know it's not concealer, but it's seriously... So full coverage, girl. It is so full coverage. And a concealer brush would be handy dandy to have, wouldn't it? Because we're going to conceal all the empty spaces. I promise you there's, there's some shapes in there. I forgot to fill in the other spaces. Fill, 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 fill of the future. That's Bill Nye, the science guy. I didn't mention... That when I drink coffee, I know some people, it's like the opposite effect. Like caffeine will help to calm their ADHD down. But for me, it makes me like all over the place. And that's part of the fun of living life with me. You never know what's going to come out of my mouth. Okay. So now I'm going to try and make these like even more wiggly. Like dancing brows. Ah. Okay. No, but seriously, I'm going to try and make these like even more angled. I'm focusing so hard because I want this to turn out. Like, I want to have dinosaur-esque brows. Like, maybe this will transform me into, like, a triceratops or something. What I'm confused is how am I supposed to still have a tail and a wiggle? Like, that's just, those expectations are way too high. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a tail. Okay, wiggle brow one is kind of done. <laughs> yeah, it's so silly looking. <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine me, like, going out in public, like, Hey babe, how you doing? Like, trying to seduce a guy with this. Oh, oh, I totally could. You would be like, wow, girl, who did your brows? And I'd be like, bam, it's me. I did my own brows. And then we'd get married right then and there. Because she'd be so impressed by my strong brow game. Okay, I'm going to try this side and try doing a different technique. So instead of already filling in my brow, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it myself in a different way. Like, I'm trying to, like, make the wiggles as I go. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Ha! Huh. There we go. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Just because they're bolder, I feel like I have to move them more. I feel like right now the top, my forehead weighs like 600 pounds. But like if I go to a doctor's appointment like this, and they weigh me and be like, wow, you weigh 600 pounds. And then I'm going to end up on that show, My 600 Pound Life. And I'll be like, no, doctor, now. I promise it's not my weight. It's my eyebrows. And he'll be like, Elizabeth, take off your eyebrows. And I'll take them off. And then I won't weigh 600 pounds. I love My 600 Pound Life. I don't know why. Because the stories are so motivational. That's why. I really enjoy, like, watching people succeed and, like, lose the weight and become healthy. Like, I really <laughs> enjoy watching that. So sexy. Wait, hold on. Let me blend out my concealer. Oh, shoot. Don't get all sassy first, Elizabeth, girl. You gotta, like... First, you gotta, like, do your brow with the spoolie. 
Wipe off half the product, obviously. Wow, what a ding dong. I always freaking, oh, that's so annoying when I do that. I put my brush back and then I lose it in my pile of brushes. Like, here's my pile of brushes. And then I lose it. And it's very annoying. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Okay, now I'm gonna try to conceal and not feel these brows on my face. Do you see what I did there? My hands are so shaky, I can't even keep the mirror still. Holy crap, hot alert over here. I have to say, I have my ceiling fan on, but it's like 60 degrees outside, so it's really cold for where I live. Um, and my, look at my mirror, it's like, whew, shaking. But my hair is dripping down my back because my hair is still like soaking wet because I was so excited to film this video and like attempt to freaking slay the entire world with these sexy brows. Oh my god. Brow game freaking strong. I have one little mistake that I'm seeing that I would like to clean up right here and right here. I could literally, I could like freaking take over China with these brows because I just look so incredible. Okay, so that's it. Like, that was my attempt and succeed, I would say. Not no. At the wheelie brow trend. As you can see, I have like six foot thick brows. Oh my god. Everything I do, I look surprised. But that's it. Oh, I just hit the camera, but that's it for this video. I hope you guys like it. And if you do, could you give it a thumbs up? Why is it hard? It's like harder to talk and move my brows at the same time. But anyway, I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe.